Yo, what's good YouTube? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And in today's video, we're going to be uh, going over the PS5 controller and how it's like the new, like, not the new best controller, but it's definitely one of the new best controllers on the market right now. Uh, it's amazing for fast editing on Fortnite. It's a great controller for like COD, Splitgate, Apex, any other game, Warzone, whatever that's COD. But, uh... I'm going to be showing you guys, like, comparison between this and, like, the standard PS5, uh, PS4 controller, my bad. And, uh, obviously, what's so special about it and why it's, like, really good for fast editing. So, I tried this controller for, like, a week now. And, uh, obviously, it's a little difficult for me because I use paddles. This controller doesn't have paddles. But I kind of, you know, got around with it and just played a little differently. But it's an amazing controller. I'll give you guys that one. Like, um, the, the, the trigger here, this is, like, amazing, right? Uh, it, it has a uh, what's it called? Um, the ad uh, adaptive triggers, which you could use on um, like a console, obviously, like a PS5. But for people that are on PC, I th uh, just look it up on YouTube. You'll find like a tutorial how to do it. But I didn't try it myself. I know it's really good for like uh, shooting games, obviously, uh, car racing games, because like it's adaptive to the game you're playing. So uh, it kind of like pushes halfway, and then when you click down more. It, like you, you could feel like if you're shooting a gun for example it's like you could actually feel the tr like the you pulling the trigger in real life you know so it's actually pretty cool but uh it's it's not really a trigger stop it's kind of like a trigger stop kind of ish maybe but it's not exactly like one it's a little um like a outside of a kind of like trigger stop but it's uh, the closest thing you'll get with this um obviously a ps4 controller the standard one doesn't have that feature this does it again like i said and uh let me tell you this these buttons over here the bumpers and the triggers obviously look way bigger than the regular looking here i'm just gonna pull this out i haven't used this controller in like ages so that's why it's mad dirty and dusty but uh they're much smaller right and uh this on the other hand it's way bigger so i mean i, I guess you could say you have like more room to like click your buttons and whatnot that i don't really know but it's it, they're just better okay i'm gonna be honest with you it's just better uh, the sticks on the other hand are almost exactly identical to the PS4 controller, except this one has like, uh, like kind of grips over here on the edges, but, uh, it's not too much of a big detail, but it's pretty cool. You get like a better grip, I guess. Uh, the actual feel of the controller, the size and everything, it's kind of more like a, like a scuff impact, you know, like a scuff impact, but, um, uh, or you could not, not really an Xbox controller. But, I mean, I guess. But it's definitely not, like, the size of a PS4 controller. Like, this is much smaller. Uh, these, on the other hand, down here are smaller. But the actual size is kind of bigger. I honestly really like the feel to this. I'm used to a scuff. If you're used to a scuff and an Xbox controller, this is, like, amazing for you. If you're a little too used to the, like, PS4 controller, you'll get used to this in time. Don't worry. It's not even that hard to get used to. But uh, it's uh, I, I give the feel 10 out of 10. It's amazing. And uh, I feel like it's, like, obviously a one-size-fits-all. So, uh, it's, like, kind of the in-between between, between the PS4 controller and, like, an Xbox controller. Um, the D-pad and these face buttons have, like, such a good, like, s like a spongy type of feel when you click them. Rather than, like, a clickiness with the PS4 controller. Uh, not too much of a big detail, but it is. Especially that there's, like, no paddles on the back. So, you're really relying on these over here. Uh, there is obviously the new, I think this is the create button. But that's, like, not really important if you're not on console. I'm not going to obviously go into that. Uh, the touchpad, now let me get to this. So, the touchpad on the PS4 controller is really responsive, right? One of the most responsive buttons on the entire controller. But, the PS5 controller touchpad is merely instant. Like, when, when I was editing with it, right? Because since I can't really edit too much and go crazy without paddles on the back, I had to, like, you know, go for, like, single tile edits and stuff like that. But I was doing a few quad edits, like, two maybe. But... The touchpad is so much more responsive than the PS4 controller. Like, obviously, the the touchpad on a Scuf and a PS4 controller are both the same. But, so far, Scuf hasn't come out with a PS5, like, variant of their controller. Hopefully, they do, because I'm definitely going to cop that. But, the PS5 touchpad is amazing. It's so responsive. And it's much bigger. So, I don't really have to push my thumb all the way up to click it. I could click it when I'm, like, all the way down here if I wanted to. And, um, it's a little tilted, as you can see, it's, like, going outwards instead of just straight up. Uh, and, obviously, there's much better lighting compared to the PS4 controller. Like, the PS4 controller just has this thing right here. And then, uh, this one, like, lights up from the edges and then comes out to the back over here. Like, I don't know why my focus is bugging like that. There we go. But, um, yeah, so the lighting goes around all the way. It's pretty cool, but it's just a little detail, that's all. 
Uh, the mute button, it's, uh, you could be, like, mapping this, I think, to something with Windows, uh, like, for Discord, I believe. You could just click it, and it'll mute you on Discord and not. Uh, and maybe, like, game chat or something. I, I believe you could do that. I'm sure you could look that up, too. But I'm not really going into the, like, software of the, the controller, like, on, like, PC. I'm just telling you guys how it's a really good controller, and you should definitely get it. Uh, uh how it doubles my edit speed? Again, like I said, the touchpad. If you add it with touchpad, this is the controller for you. Oh, my God, it's insane. And uh, I know it's a non-claw controller, like uh, like there's no paddles or anything, but I will link in the description down below one of my previous videos. It's like uh, the seven kind of attachments you could put on your controller for non-claw, non-paddles, and uh, they'll, they'll like change your gameplay completely. It's, 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 it's amazing. So I'll definitely link that down below. You guys could check that out if you want to add some cool attachments to your non-claw controller or non-paddles, whatever, same thing. So uh, if you don't play claw and you don't have paddles like this, then you should definitely watch that video and put on those kind of attachments so you could experience better gameplay and be good at the game that you're playing. So uh, another thing is that this, like, I, I don't really know if that's just placebo or not, but this controller has much better, like, response time and input delay compared to the standard PS4 controller. Maybe not the same as a scuff. I, feel, I genuinely feel like the scuff is still, like, winning in that. But uh, this controller has amazing, like, response time in-game. And uh, it's just such a smooth controller, honestly. Like, the triggers on the back just feel really good. Like, when you push down a little. These are, like, really, um, you know, like, light when you press them. But these are, like, uh, a little, like, smooth, you know? Like, obviously, you could spam them, too. But they're just, like, you'll see what I mean if you get the controller itself. Uh, by the way, I will link to the, like, Amazon link down below in the description. Obviously, this isn't a sponsored video. But if you guys want to go purchase it yourself, I'll link the Amazon, uh, like, link down below. You could obviously get it on, like, anywhere. It's not like a PS5 console where you can't find it anywhere. The, the controller you could literally get at, like, GameStop, Target, uh, Amazon, Best Buy, literally anywhere. So I'll just link the Amazon one, and you could just, if you want to get it from somewhere else, go ahead. Uh, it's, like, uh, I think 70 or 80 bucks. I'm not sure, something like that. Or 16, 65, I have no idea. But something like that around that area. But um, definitely worth it. I would highly recommend you get this controller. It is amazing. Uh, amazing response time. Amazing feel. The grippiness is, like, really good. The back actually has, like, a little bit, like, um... Like, like I don't, I don't, it looks like it's a little, in, like, a bunch of, like, um... Like, I, I don't know how to explain it. But it's not like this. Like, here, it's just completely smooth, right? But on the other hand, here, it's, like, a, a little, like you know, rough, so, like, you, it's not like you're gonna slip out, like, it's not, like, oily or anything, you know what I mean, so it has a really good grip to the back, the sticks are kind of better, not too much of, like, detail, the lighting is definitely really sick when you turn on the controller, the button is different, uh, you got a mute button, like the home button I was talking about, uh, this, like, the sponginess feel on the face buttons and the d-pad just feels really good, much better than the, like, clickiness on the PS4 controller, um, the triggers are so much smoother and bigger, so you have more room, I guess, to click, but that's not too important. You have adaptive triggers, which you could, uh, like, figure out to do if you just, like, you know, look it up. I'm not going to be going into depth. I haven't even tried it, but I did try it before on console, with, like, at my uh, cousin's house, but it's pretty, it's a pretty cool feature. Um, and uh, overall, the, the feel to the controller is just really good. Like, I give this controller, like, a... 9 out of 10 or 8.5 out of 10. I would have given it higher if it, like, had, like, you know, built-in trigger stops, maybe. And then maybe, like, I don't know, like, two paddles or something. I know that's asking for too much from Sony, but that's my honest opinion. I, I would have given it, like, a 10 out of 10 if it came with, like, trigger stops uh, and paddles. Maybe I would have given it, like, a 9 out of 10 if it only came with trigger stops or only paddles. But I think 8.5 settles the barrier with that. So, uh, definitely recommend this controller. Uh, and it's obviously way cheaper than a scuff and uh, I believe maybe ten dollars more than a ps4 controller I have no idea, but it is an amazing controller again Like I said and the descript the link of the like product on Amazon will be linked in the description down below if you want to go get it and uh, That's all I have for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, Subscribe if you're new drop the video a like and uh, Let me know in the comments if you got any other products that you guys think will uh, you know enhance your gameplay because this controller Surely did and tripled my edit speed I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.